exiled former cabinet minister Professor Jonathan Moyo has warned President Emerson Nangagwa is digging his own political grave by attempting to oust his highly ambitious deputy, Constantino Chuenga. Chuenga, who led the November 2017 coup that toppled late leader Robert Mugabe and ushered in Nangagwa, is said to be fending off attacks from the Nangagwa faction which fears he might want his top post in 2023. The two coup protagonists fell out immediately after colluding to get rid of Mugabe, mainly over succession issues. Moyo, who was part of Nangagwa's rival Generation 40 faction at the time, escaped at the height of the coup and has remained outside the country since then. In a Twitter post, Moyo said Chuenga's role in Nangagwa's power grab was done and Nangagwa had used him just as he had used others in the past. History repeating itself is a farce. People in ZANU-PF need to wake up and smell the coffee. Some of us learned our lessons about Nangagwa's treachery in 2004, after the so-called Chilacho Declaration. Emerson is a user. In short, he is a snake. He used Chuenga in 2017, Moyo wrote. The Chilacho Declaration was a clandestine meeting organized by a faction loyal to Nangagwa in 2004 to plot his ascent to ZANU-PF and national presidency. In another tweet, Moyo said, Dear Nangagwa, your clansmen in ZANU-PF are mobilizing dirty tricks against your deputy in government, who is also one of your two deputies in your party. You do not need me of all people to warn you that you are playing a dangerous game, as good as digging your own political grave, Nangagwa carried out a coup to grab power, lying that he is bringing in a new dispensation and a new republic to end what used to happen in the Mugabe days, yet he is doing the same, and, in some cases, doing worse. In African countries where a president's source of the presidency is a powerful vice president and not a democratic election, that president's tenure is a borrowed one, and thus can be ended any time. That is what happened to Mugabe after he made Nangagwa, who was his source of power, a vice president, the eminent political science professor said.